Hello, welcome to the Computational Genomics Lab. Today we are going to be downloading a file transfer program called FileZilla. There's another video uh, downloading the file transfer program for CyberDuck. That's what I prefer, but um, this will work both on a PC and a Mac as well. So it's up to you which sort of format you prefer. Um, and a file transfer program allows you to take documents from your local desktop computer, put them up on the cloud and grab things from the cloud and put them back on your desktop. So let's go get FileZilla, which is a free file transfer program. We just type in FileZilla, and we go here, and we are going to use the, um, the client for a desktop, not for a server. That's a whole different ballgame. Um, we're going to download the FileZilla uh, client and download the free version, which is going to go into my downloads folder. And I can see it here. Just click on the tar file and now I have this icon which I'm going to drag to my desktop next to CyberDuck. Again, link for that one is in the video. Same thing, file transfer program to connect to a server um, and transfer um, documents. So this is what it looks like. Um, I'm going to uh, connect to our supercomputer here at the University of Colorado for the students taking this class um, and that is hostfiji.colorado.edu, my username and password and then port will be 22 for SFTP so that's a secure file transfer protocol um, so when we transfer documents between the cloud and our computer um, it's nice and safe we'll do a quick connect here it's asking me if I'm sure I trust the server and I do and boom I have I'm in my local home directory here um, on my uh, in my user file jory27 and I will um, go here to where we are um, in class on scratch shares um, ring class and I will find some uh, document here to download um, let's take this CSV file here drag it to my desktop um, and it should have transferred and it didn't let's try that again there we go I have a green arrow it says it transferred here it is and now I can open up with the text editor and I have that file that was previously on the server so that is FileZilla for a Mac it's the exact same for a PC um, so both free softwares you can choose between um, CyberDuck which I use and FileZilla um, for this class